Glory be to God. This is Prophet Joel of the CLJ Maranatha Ministry. I want to welcome all the viewers that you're about to watch this program of the message that you're about to listen to. I thank God for this opportunity and for this platform that the Lord has made available for me to share with you the word of the living God. And I believe this word that you're about to listen will transform and change your life for good. And uh, I invite you to invite someone also to listen to you this word of God because it's life changing. Because God is about to do something glorious into your life. And I believe your life will never be the same again. So tune in and the Lord shall bless you. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. No, they, I don't even like people say, ah, oh, the message was good. I don't like it. Maybe spend what talking and you will come Because I like the message to be transforming. Life to be changed. Because there is no important to say the message was good and your life is still the same. Life must be transformed. And it is by the word of God that you are getting transformed. It is by the word of God that you are getting changed. It is by the word and the teaching that you are relining yourself to the right way. Now sit down, let me show you something. God said, Moses, Musa, I am sending you to my people. Go. Nenda. Go. Nenda. Go. Nenda. And deliver them. Who? None. My people. They are not my people. They are your people. You came Ulikuja. to invite me Unikaribisha. in a different land. Mingine. And you are causing me Na sasa to go back Niende. to my people. Kwa watu wangu. Who are your people? Ambao ni watu wako. There's a mistake. Basi hapa kuna makosa. If you were God, Kama wewe ni mungu, go and deliver your people. Nenda watu wako, baba. But God mungu, needs ali a human being that he named. Because what you name serves you. Kile jina, kina the, 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 the secret I'm giving you here are spiritual secrets. What you name serves you. Kile jina, kina kutumikia. When you see Bill Gates has created, Papa pa, pa, created this, ta, 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 Michael, Zepra, Zepra, they created. Zepra, and then Zepra. when he finished everything, Zepra. for it to go out, Zepra. name it. Zepra. Because what I name, Zepra. it will serve me. Zepra. It must serve me. Zepra. If I name that whatever I want, Zepra. it will serve me. Kwanzia leo, baada ya baba kuhubiri, kita nitumikia. You see, doubts will never help you. But it will cause you to go more down. Until you move to the place of believing. You start being catapulted. To the next level. Because what serves me. Kile kina nitumikia. Is what I name. A house will serve me. Because it is in my name. A car will serve me. Because it is in my name. A land will serve me. Because it is in my name. My children. They will serve me. Because they carry my name. Nothing can serve you. Until they carry your name. What is it that carry your DNA? Whatever has your DNA will submit to you. What is it that has your DNA? What is it? <laughs> Listen, we create events. I taught you last Sunday. A God is a man who speaks things and things come to pass. And then they create events. Vitu. Bad or good? Zuri ya mambaya. Hello, 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 hello. Bad or good? Anaumba vitu vibazo. So if I'm a God, kama mimi ni mungu, I must not just speak things which are in the past. Sita umba tu vitu vya jana. That will take place in the future. Amba itatene kakesho. But if I'm a God, kama mimi ni mungu, I must also create events. Lazima ni umbe nyakati. That's when I can create a chaos. Naeza ni ka... I can cause two people to meet. Naeza ni kafanya watu wa wili makutane. I'm about to prophesy. Ah, prophesy, so, Papa. If I'm a God, I'm a I can cause you to buy a house in two months. <laughs> 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 hey! uh -huh. Wait. If I'm a God, if you're God, I can make you get married before this year to finish. Hey! 
I know of a man who said tomorrow by this time he didn't wait for two months he said tomorrow by this time you shall get food by this price I sent to decree and declare tomorrow by this time as you can listen to me as you can respond to this I decree and declare let whatever that was resisting you bow bow Bow. Bow. Come on, give the Lord praise. Open your mouth and give him a shout. Hey. Yesterday. Jana. Yesterday. Jana. Mama brought for me a request. Mama Kaleta Ombi. Papa. Baba. We have this event. And the sky looks like papa. rain is about to come down. Should we change the option? I looked at her and smiled. I said, What option? Because of rain. You to change option. I said, Let the option still A. We are not going to B. Because God is the last for us to be the first. I said, let me show the glory. The sky yesterday was almost raining. I stood and looked at it. Some of you don't know why it's non rain. Someone stopped it. Papa. So it was you. Hey! I say, today is a celebration of the three best people in my life. You want to come, I looked at it. I said, Now, I close you until Father notice. And I said, As I walked out of this place, let the sun arise. And I told Mama, Go. Nenda. Everything is good. I want to do my things. The sky start responding. The sky start responding. If you are God, you create events. You will make events. When I speak like this, I feel goosebumps. If you are God, as a child of the Most High God, the earth must have this. That means whatever I say must come to pass. I was seeing just a guy I think on YouTube. He's a witch doctor. And he said I can stop rain. I'm like that's the smallest level in the power. Stopping rain? The devil will make you put some sand and do this and then poof for it to stop. I don't need sand. I need to look at it and speak it. And rain will stop. It is authority over material things. Because we are not of this world, we are from the above. So whomsoever is from above dominates. So that means if I looked at the earth, anything I can speak will come to pass. That's what the Bible says. He are God. He are God. But you die like man. man. But I prohibit you from today. You die like man. But God will raise you to another level. You shall not die prematurely. Sickness will not kill you. Accidents will not kill you. But I prophesy that the godly presence of the Lord within you to arise. To arise. To arise. To arise. Oh. Hey. What was it? Was it on Friday? Because Gani, Duma, that the media people came to me. Was it on Friday? Papa, Papa, your son has entered a coma. Was it coma? Baba, or almost coma. The chest, the heart was almost bursting. The beating went to 1,000. So you can see he was almost to death. And they say that is in an unconscious level or something like that. And I said, what? Who? So and so. My son. Listen, if the devil used to play with you, maybe because you are alone. But right now, Leo, I'm telling you right now, you are no longer alone. We are you and I, 
with the Holy Ghost with the angel of God that sorcerer that witch doctor that demons will no longer touch you we are more than them we are bigger than them we are glorious more than them can I hear you shout the big man so we are not coming alone <laughs> one shall kill thousand and now well for more than two what will it shall kill ten thousand and for kumi then the mathematic of god is not the athlete not to kill me a tattoo that's me the second one what tattoo came with nine thousand and then an elf pizza he was one but behind him there were nine thousand backing me up empire when i'm fought you came with nine thousand people whomsoever join you in the battle matters either they can carry demons or they can carry angels hey. when you have a father when you have a mentor who stood by your side you are not alone your battle is you are not fighting alone you have multitude that's why Elisha look at the, the servants he said those who are with us are bigger more than those you can see in the physical the spiritual is always bigger more than what is in the physical can i start my message you people can i not speak to you what god says can i not tell you where god is taking you can i tell you where god is about to take you your story is about to change I feel there are people your story is about to change because there is something that God is about to do now watch this just watch it. let me finish sit down I know it is too much but there is something as dominion spirit coming on people this is what happened this is what happened this is what happened so when 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 god can i reveal a secret can i show you something yes sir when god created aliumba in genesis chapter 1 katika mwanzo moja to verse 2 mstari wa pili he created the heaven yumba bingu and the earth in verse 1 the bible says he created the heaven is it bingu sio right yes sir. he created the heavens Akaumba bingu. when he created the heavens Alipa bingu. he filled it Akajaza. and then suddenly Na punde si punde. the bible was recorded Maniko in verse 2 Katika mstari wa the earth Dunia was empty ilikuwa tupu. and void Na ilikuwa tupu kabisa, ukame. the earth Dunia was empty ilikuwa ukame. and void Na ilikuwa tupu. god created it and filled it Mungu akayumba, akayaza. But what made it to be empty? God never create darkness. In him the Bible says there is full of light. So whatever he creates, there is light in it. I want us to reason. There is light in whatever God creates. Then why was darkness in the earth? Let me show you something. Jeremiah chapter 4. Jeremiah mlango wa 4. Verse 23. Watch this. Don't lose this. Mstari wa 22. Usiko. You understand that you are fighting with the sons of Belial. Utajua kwamba unapigana na watoto wa shetani. They are the sons of God and the sons of Belial. Kuna watoto wa Mungu na watoto wa shetani. Beat in the marketplace. Iwe ni katika mji. Beat in church. Popote. They are the sons of God and they are the sons of the devil. Kuna watoto wa shetani. They have flesh like you. They are not spiritual. They have flesh. Wanamwili. Those are the people you encounter in money. Unakutana kwa pesa. Those are the people you encounter in business. Unakutana kwa biashara. They are the seeds of Belial. Waoni mbegu ya Belaya. I looked at the earth. This is Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah. Uyu ni Jeremiah. The Bible said that. I looked at the earth and it was what? Formless. He's prophesying as Moses prophesied. And, and, and at the heavens na bingu, and their lights na dunia, was gone. Ilikuwa hypo. This one went more deeper. Indio mahali nitazama. 
Hello? This one went more? More deeper? He kazama zaidi. Okay. You might think maybe this was a time when Noah floods and whatever came. The Bible says when Noah floods came, the sun was there. The moon was there. The stars were there. Then why these things took place? I looked at the earth and it was formless and empty and empty and, and at the heavens they are and their light was gone. was gone how next verse i looked at the mountains they were quacking <laughs> and they were quacking quacking all the hills were, were swaying what the bible say the boats of noah Safir. landed on a mountain which is found where in Turkey Arata hmm? yes, oh can you reason so when was this taking place next verse I looked and there were no people Adam Noah was there the children were there isn't it yes papa Everybody in the sky had flown away. They were where? In the boats. So this one, the prophet is telling us for a time. A season. Where there were people. But there were no more. Where there were cities. But there were no more. Alright. Hello? Hello, Papa. Is it good for you? Yes, sir. Can we swim in the deep? Yes, sir. <laughs> Next verse. I looked again, and the fruitful land was a was a desert, and its town lay ruins. in ruins before the Lord, before the Lord, before, before the Lord, and before His fierce anger. Okay. And the Bible says in Genesis chapter one, verse two, and the Bible. earth was empty and void, the and the spirit of the living God, and the spirit of the so that's when the earth was before the Lord. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I think I lost some people. <laughs> I think I lost some people. So, <laughs> so the emptiness of the <laughs> earth that Genesis chapter 1 is talking about, <laughs> it was when Jeremiah is prophesying here. <laughs> so we can agree <laughs> between <laughs> Genesis chapter 1 <laughs> to verse 1 <laughs> to verse 2, <laughs> it is a thousand and thousand, thousand, thousand of years. <laughs> and the falling of Satan. You can find it in verse 1 and verse 2. Wait, Papa. Katika mstari wa kwanza, katika ya mstari wa kwanza, na mstari wa pili. Oh, am I having teachers of the word of God here? So we can see the darkness. Who is the father of darkness? Who is the father of darkness? Answer me. Baba wa giza ninani? It's who? Satan. It's who? Ipilisi. So when there was darkness on the earth, kulikuwa na giza ninani? Who brought it? Nani alileta? Who brought it? The devil. Who brought it? The devil. And Satan, na shetan, where he fell, alipanguka. He brought darkness. Akaleta giza. He brought emptiness. Akaleta ukuwa. He brought voidness. Akaleta ukuwa. And dryness. Na ukafu. Ayama ya kata. Ayama. So you can see when there is emptiness in your life, when there is darkness in your life, over your children, over your finances, there is someone occupying. Kuna mtu anatawala. Oh, there is someone. Kuna mtu, my friend, causing it to be void. Anafanya ukuwe na ukuwa. Causing it to be empty. Anafanya ukuwe na ukuwa. Because he's swallowing everything he's coming in. Unafanya kazi, anameza kila kitu. He's eating every breakthrough. He's <laughs> like a snake. That's why he called a great serpent. He swallow. He eats. When there's an opportunity coming, he swallow. When your helpers are coming, as because the Bible said the snake can only eat what? The sun. So that's been dryness. He is dryness because he was cast. So when you are eating the sun, you are eating peanuts in life. That's not your life. You are living someone else's life. And today I'm taking you out. Leo, unatoka. I said today I'm taking you out. I am coming out. Uh, your amen is too weak. I am coming. I want out. to see the exhibition of your faith. I am coming. Say come out. out. Come out. Say come out. Come out. Say come out. Come out. Hey. hey. I am coming out. So 
prophet Jeremiah saw what Moses did not describe. Jeremiah so every prophet carries on dimension. So there were people. Kulikuwa na watu. There were people. Kulikuwa na watu. In the earth. Duniani. That God filled in. Mungu and those people were not human beings. Wale watu wakuwa wanadamu. They were looking like human beings. Walika kama wanadamu. Kama wa shetani wengine unakutana na wawo. Ni wanadamu na siyo wanadamu. Okay. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. Watch this. The Bible said what? Mandiko ina say. When Cain was cast out. Wakati Cain alifukuzwa. Huh? Did you hear that? When Cain was cast out. Wakati Cain alifukuzwa. The Bible went to a city. Aliye na mjini. And those city were what? People. Where Yiko were those people coming from? Walikuwa wametoka wapi? Na Cain amefukuzwa na ni wa kwanza. Where were those people coming Walikuwa from? Walikuwa wametoka. Where was the city coming from? Hiyo mji ni wapi? So that mean, na manisha. Those were the fallen angels. Wale ni malaika walioanguka. The fallen angel they have a city mind. <laughs> My God. Malaika wakianguka wanabeba matao. The sons of angels. Malaika the fallen angels. Wale walioanguka. Wherever they go. Popote wanaenda. They build city. Wanaleta miji. Miji miji. Miji. Town. They city. have a city mind building. Wana miji ndani yao. When Cain went there. Cain alipoenda. He went to a city. Alienda kwa mji. Cain joined himself. Na kaka with the spirit being now the bible said became a vagabond and a vagabond and we can know it is a wind it is a wind it is the wind so that's when Ken became a wind kila mahali new people so nana the word it became a spirit akawa roho kai aramayo santa yama kaini and when he went to the city of Nod, na alipoenda katika mji if you can interpret Nod, kama unaweza ukatafsiri Nod means a spiritual thing ina maanisha vitu vya kiroho demonic place mapepo Jesus. And he gave birth with them. Na kazana wao. And God said again, men. Sasa wanadamu join himself again. Amekaa pamoja with the people who made the earth to be dark. Wale walioleta giza duniani. And the earth became again darker. Dunia basi kawa giza milele. Are we good? Can we go on? Bipa. But watch this. In Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 Katika ufunuo 12 mstari Revelation 12 11 so people can understand They overcame him by the blood or let food by fasten Kwanza mstari wa 10 Mstari wa 10 Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say Now I've come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ For the accuser So Christ was holy by then Kristo alikuwa That's when for another day I see a veil God is putting on you. A garment. And the authority of his Christ. Bosta. For the accuser of our brothers. Anaye onea ndugu zetu. So if you are an accuser, kama wewe ni mtu wa kuona makosa. You are a small Satan. Wewe ni shetani tena umebatizwa kwa ushetani. Who accuses them before our God? Day and night. Ambaye wanatafuta makosa. Hold down. Because he was fallen ana alikuwa ameanguka and this scripture fail for him mandiko ilipoandika Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 2 wait mwanzo mmoja mstari wa kwanza kati ya mstari wa kwanza na darkness darkness giza darkness giza he was fallen akanguka okay i was praying for mother detail what the lord showed me where he fell specifically where is he is where all that that's for another I, I, I only teach it small people that's that's not our focus but when he failed the bible says woe to man because the devil is there so when god was making the tree of life when god was making the light the moon the sun the star the river he was there Bwana Mungu alipoleta galaxy watching as well akitazama pia when he created man he said wow he said wow and when god said you should not touch he also said shetani akasikia ibilisi so he knew alisikia that man is not supposed to touch kwamba mwanadamu asikule tuna but i pray for you today nakuambia leo that you shall not be thrown in danger kwamba hautaenda kwa hatari you should not be thrown in danger you shall not be thrown in danger 
Now God is too smart. Samungu amekuwa mwenye makini sana. Let me move to the purpose of the day. Wacha niende katika When he fell, he occupied. Akatawala. And he started manifesting glory. Na kaanza kudhihirisha. Demonic influence. Mapepo. Influence. Mapepo. And influence. Mapepo na uchafu. But this is the things. Lakini hii ndio nasema. When emptiness wakati ukiwa occupies a place <laughs> unakaa ndani ya mahali even in a day hata katika siku in a hour katika saa in a second katika sekunde when emptiness occupies a space wakati ukiwa unaingia mahali there is a bin in it kuna kuna jitu ndani yake that's why men does not like to remain like that the one among adam had in a place silence not doing anything when you get into a place you are you always go to the phone or always on the tv but to remain somewhere quiet you don't want it well to god be the glory i believe the message has been a blessing to your life and i believe god has brought a lot of insight into your life and i believe surely god has done something amazing in your life but i want you to be a part of this wonderful move that God is doing in our midst and you might be there touched by God you have listened to this word of God I believe this word is yours don't wait to call there are numbers there call us come if you want to encounter God come and God shall touch you is there any problem that you encountering be it in your business be it in your finances be it in your marriage be it in your ministry in any area there is a God I serve and is a living God is about to change your life and touch you for good We are, located, we are located in Likoni Road on Road A of Likoni Road on Road A. We are here on the services of Wednesday, Friday and Sunday and the Lord is going to bless you abundantly. All the services are just there figuring in front of you there. Please call us and be a part of this blessing and the Lord is going to do amazing things in your life. May God bless you and I believe this blessing shall be permanent into your life. See you. God bless you.